Hey guys, so I'm going to be recording in my bed. Um, I had a tuber reversal with Dr. Monmouth September 21st on Monday at 10 a.m. Uh, today is September 24th, 2020, so it's been a few days post-op. Um, I'm going to be recording in my bed because I'm still on I'm still on bed rest. Um, but this is me. This is how I had my hair whenever I went in. I wanted my hair flattened down. So... Uh, I had to rehearsal with Dr. Mammoth and his team. Amazing. I highly recommend him. Um, the facility was very clean, very beautiful, smelled amazing. If you're looking for a doctor to do your tuber reversal, I highly recommend him. He was amazing. He was amazing. He informed us about everything that happened during surgery. Amazing. So my name is Tay. A lot of you ladies may know me. I have comment under your statuses on your videos. And y'all said y'all couldn't wait for my journey. And finally, it is here. I finally got my two reversal after been trying for so many years. Um, but yes, my name is Tay. I am from Oklahoma. Um, I have a husband. We are in an in, 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 interracial couple. Not that y'all care. But and we have an eight year old son. Um the reason why I got my tubes tied in the first place was due to a lot of miscarriages and me being young and dumb. I got my tubes tied whenever I was 21 years old due to having a lot of miscarriages. I was having a lot of miscarriages. I got pregnant on birth control. And my doctor was like, so what do you want to do about this situation? So at the time, I was like, I don't care. Just do something. So ended up getting my tubes tied in 2014. Got them untied in 2020 so we are excited about this journey of trying to conceive number two i'm nervous because it's been eight years since being pregnant but i'm excited excited nervous a lot of emotions um Whenever I got my tubes tied, I got my tubes tied. I had a DNC and got my tubes tied at the same time. I miscarried at 12 weeks and it was horrible. So yes, I was fed up. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like and subscribe, follow my journey. I will be posting live pregnancy tests whenever I take pregnancy tests. Uh, whenever I do become pregnant, I will be showing bump updates, pregnancy updates. So please follow me, feel free. Um, more about me, I do body piercings. I recently started doing tattoos, so that's what I do. Uh, I will be vlogging every week. So again, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you, any ladies have any questions about the tuber reversal, feel free to ask me because I know whenever I was about to have my tuber reversal, I looked everywhere on YouTube, online, I was looking for any video that would just let me know what I'm about to get myself into. So feel free, ladies, if you have any questions about Dr. Monmouth and his team, or if you have questions about the surgery, um, where Dr. Monmouth, the price, uh, the original price was 6,800 for a tuber reversal, but due to COVID, they actually was doing a discount. So we got our tuber reversal for 6,400 and that covers everything. Uh, they help you with hotel stay. They work with uh, the Hyatt Hotel, which was beautiful and amazing. You get a discount if you're with Dr. Mom and if with this with, with his facility, which is personal choice. So you get a good discount. So we stayed there for two days, three nights. So it turned out to be three hundred sixty five dollars, and that comes with a one bed is one bed king size bed in the hotel beautiful shower beautiful bathroom you get stove top you get you get the sink you get dishes it's nice it was beautiful it was amazing comfortable stay and we actually stayed on the strip where it was beautiful they had amazing food like everything's in one area you have the hotel and then you're on the strip it's like non-stop restaurants you got ice cream candy stores you got lashes salon massage places and then three minutes away is his facility his office where he actually does the tube reversal so you're not going far because you're going to be uncomfortable after surgery you're not going far you're not hitting bumps again i highly recommend dr monmouth and his team highly recommend it was beautiful clean facility 
They make sure you stay sanitized. You have to wear a mask, of course, but it was beautiful. It was amazing, comfortable. Uh, I was able to get my prescription there, even though I was out of state, which uh, right across the street from the hotel is a grocery store, which has a pharmacy. Boom. Everything was in one area. It worked out amazing. And we flew there. We flew home. So, again, the trip was easy. It was smooth. So, uh, if you ladies have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I will be happy to, to answer them. For the ladies that did post about their tube reversals that I actually did hit up, thank you for informing me about what I will be going through after surgery. Um, I will be posting for anybody that's curious and wondering. I will be posting pictures either here or in my next video of what my incision looks like. He just made a, a C-section incision right underneath my belly. He didn't have to go through my belly button. He didn't have to go through my stomach. Just right above my pelvis is a C-section incision, and that's it. Um, he glued and stapled me back to get not stapled me. <laughs> Excuse me. He glued and uh, stitched me back together. He was able to repair both of my tubes because I went and actually blindsided. We went and blindsided because of my doctor. I was not able. My doctor retired two years ago. Dr. Carpenter, and I was not able to get my tubal ligation report to let me know how much tube I had left. And the place that I did have my tubal ligation, they closed years ago. So we went and blindsided. And yes, they do do that. If you do not have your tubal report, it's fine. They can still do your surgery. But we went in blindsided. He was like, let's just see what happens. There's no guarantee. So whenever he went in, my doctor did my tubal ligation just right. So Dr. Monmouth was able to repair each tube beautifully. So I have five centimeters on each side and my tubes are fully back together. He said we should have no problem with trying to, to conceive. So, and my doctor before he retired told me, cause they did test my, uh, my tissue whenever I did miscarry. And he said, there's no sign of why I would miscarry. So hopefully this time around, everything will work out beautifully. He said we should be able to have normal pregnancies just fine. So everything should work out great. Again, just like and subscribe and follow my journey. I will be posting live pregnancy tests. I will be posting um, whenever I am pregnant, pregnancy updates. I will be posting all that, not just for you guys, but for me also just to just to have and look back on. Uh, we do for sure want to have at least two more kids, maybe even three, you know, while we're young. I am 27, my uh, husband's 33. So we're gonna take advantage of that. But yes, like, subscribe, follow me. It's gonna be a fun journey. It's gonna be an awesome journey. I'm so excited. I can't believe I just had a tuber reversal. I've been trying for so many years and it finally happened and it was with the doctor I really wanted. So everything came out good and beautiful. I will be posting pictures of my incision. I will be posting pictures or videos of the food that we had there. If just in case you guys want to go out there. Oh my gosh, the food was so amazing. Um, I will po be posting a little clip of me the day of surgery or the day after surgery. I just know I was in so much pain. That first day was so much pain. But I got through it. Okay, I got through it. It wasn't horrible. It was just horrible. Like, as soon as I woke up, he said, you're going to feel a little bit of menstrual cramps. Yeah, it was like I was in labor. Like, it was contractions. Like, that pain was horrible. Horrible. But that's all it is. It's not like somebody stabbing you or sharp pain. It just feels like you're on your period times two. It was just menstrual cramp, period. But menstrual, menstrual cramps, like, that's how it felt. <laughs> like, if you was on your period. Y'all ignore me. But yes, follow my journey. I'm excited. I know most of you ladies have been reaching out for reaching out to me for years. Finally, this is my turn. Uh, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. I actually ovulate uh, this week or next week. So again, he said, whenever we're ready, we can go ahead and try whenever we feel comfortable. And he said, the sooner, the better, because uh, after he said six months, usually after six months, some women's tubes start to sometimes heal back together, seal back together due to scar tissue or just for some reason. So he said, it's best to just whenever I'm comfortable and healed up to go ahead and just start trying. So we'll see how that goes. And Yes, I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. I can't wait. I'm so excited. 
whenever I do become pregnant, I plan on surprising hubby and our son. So, yes, just, just follow me for this journey, guys. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And stay tuned.